Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and today we have to do some shopping uh, between my new job with my training and uh, prepping for the gardening season and learning how to YouTube. I don't have any time. So I have the day off and I need to get to the store. Usually I'll go to Costco. My mom, she's got a Sam's Club membership so I'm gonna go see what's going on over there. There's an Aldi right next door so I'm gonna check out what's going on at Aldi. I'm a big Aldi shopper, so I, I know I'm going to notice some price increases. So this is going to be interesting. If you've been listening, listening and looking around and seeing different things, and you know that everything is going up and up and up, and now's the time to get really, really serious. I'm not going to go on, an, on another rant like I did in my last video because you know. You know everything going on in this world, and I hope that you're taking it seriously. So I also have an Andrew Standard pickup tonight at 6.30, so I need to go um, get that. I'm, again, I only spent $200. I do not like to spend a ton of money. Now, obviously, I'm going to Costco and Aldi, but I haven't done a big shop in two or three weeks, so it's time. We need some things. I don't like to be out of bread for three or four days, and I typically can make bread, but I have been so busy so, you know, we need to get some things stocked up. I don't know why, but I always pick the rainiest days to go shopping. And I wanted, I wanted to show you my mom's forsythia bush. This thing is huge. It is so pretty. Did you know that you can make a jelly out of forsythia? I did not. Um, I'm actually going to look into that next year. I have my plate too full this year, but uh, that sounds like an interesting project. This is Raven. She, When she's really excited and happy, she carries a shoe around. <laughs> Sam's Club has a really, really, really good selection of herbs. Costco does not have this. They do have some organic, but uh, I, I, this is one of the reasons why I, I prefer Sam's over Costco. Okay, I'm back. We did uh, quite a bit of shopping. It's I, for some reason, I choose the coldest, wettest, rainiest days when I go shopping. I don't know how that happens, but I got drenched. And uh, huh, I think half the things behind me are pretty wet too. But I want to quickly show you what I got. I, I did notice a few price increases. Um, one thing in particular, the, um, the Aldi grass-fed beef, that used to be, I want to say $5 or $5.50 a pound, and that went up over $6 a pound. So there were quite a few things, you know, mostly a dollar here, a dollar there, but that really adds up. So let me show you what I got here. Canning season will be upon us very, very shortly, and you don't want to be um, running around looking for your vinegar, your citric acids, your lemon juice. You don't want to run around looking for your pectins and your, your jars and lids. Get that stuff now. Um, they, ha they have a really great deal on vinegar. I didn't see apple cider vinegar at Sam's Club. For Mother's Day, instead of going out, we decided to grill this weekend. So I picked up these brioche buns. We're going to do hamburgers and some chicken for dinner tonight. Easy peasy. Ten bucks. I've got some broccoli to go with it. Their chicken alfredo is really good. These chicken tenders are awesome. They taste like the ones up at the, uh, the party store that we go to, and they might be the same ones. Um, I am pretty disappointed in myself. I usually have a really big list when I go and I have all these plans and this time I did not. So I sat at my mom's and I went through a few recipes. I've got a few recipes picked out and one of those I want to do unstuffed cabbage. Cabbage doesn't freeze well so it's something that I'll have to put in after but I like to make it with ground turkey. So this ground turkey was a good deal. 
Hunter loves waffles, so now that we have a, deep, a bigger deep freezer, we have a big box of waffles. Their, their lunch meat is a really good deal. I like to buy my dishwasher packs, my soaps, my um, trash bags, all in bulk. It's just, it's just so much cheaper. Faith, my English doodle, she's going to be 10 this year. We started to be proactive in giving her joint support. Doodles are known and golden retrievers are known for having hip dysplasia. So we're hoping to get ahead of that. I like to buy organic fruit. Can I afford everything organic? I absolutely cannot. There are some things that I will not buy that is not organic and one of those are apples. I have to buy organic apples and berries. One of these days I hope that I can't afford every single thing organic. Um, I found some pink salt, black pepper, some parsley flakes. My Azure order is coming in tonight and the parsley was out so I wasn't able to get that. This yum yum sauce, I, I think it has a funny taste. My boys and Mike loves that so I buy it for them. Now I do buy my chicken from a farm, but this was a really good deal. This was uh, $3.76 a pound. I think we're paying $5 a pound now. It went up. And this is supposed to be a, um, a good one. These bars are really good. Great for grab and go, the better bars. I'm going to do a um, Mike Likes uh, toe in the hole with an onion gravy. So I'm going to do a big batch of onion gravy and freeze it so the red onions are good. And I just bought a big bag of uh, red potatoes. Again, I wish they were organic. They are not, but that's okay. So the whole Costco haul was $2.37, but if you took away the Cosequin, because that's not really groceries and we buy that probably once every three months for Faith, then it was 200 bucks. Do you see a little theme here? <laughs> so I wanna show you my Aldi haul now. So this is quite a bit here. I am not gonna go through every single thing. I'm gonna pick out a few things and uh, let you know some of my favorites, but I spent 132. I got all this for 132. And I even bought the expensive chocolate. <laughs> I love this chocolate. It is so good. Um, a couple of my favorite things. We love the organic um, pasta sauce. It is so reasonable. They're the best price that I can find on the solid white tuna. Hands down beats any grocery store I've found. Let's see what else. Oh, the organic uh, beef and chicken broths. Really, really reasonably priced. I got this big pack of bratwurst. I'm going to use this for my toad in the hole. That was a good deal. We love, love, love the pineapple salsa. So we don't ever want to run out of these. And have you ever tried their pizzas? You can get these huge pizzas for like six bucks. And Hunter's not eating pizza anymore because he's off of the dairy. So for the three of us, plus the cheesy bread, cheap meal. Uh, we also buy our barn cat food. They were out of the large bags. Do you, these little bags of food were less than $3. It, it's just, even though prices are going up, Aldi is still so reasonably priced. So... You just, you can't beat it. You know, we it's best price for cereal. We, we get really good deals there. Um, I don't like this bread. Mike likes this bread. So if he'll eat it, still, it's a really good deal there. They have a great um, price on their organic gala apples. So you can see, oh, and I, I bought a big case of green beans. We like fresh green beans. I do not like frozen beans. So... In the winter time, that is our best choice. You have to have the canned beans, but I like the Aldi brand and they're very reasonably priced and I can stick them in my pantry. Okay, so now we're up at the Azure Drop. It's a park about 20, 25 minutes from my house. Everyone sits up here, we all line up and we wait for the semi to pull up. And when the semi pulls up, the driver will open up the back of the door 
and we will all help to put things in alphabetical order, different orders. We only have a couple hundred dollars worth, but there's going to be quite a few orders, so it'll probably take hopefully not more than 20 or 30 minutes. Last time it was about 45 minutes, so. I have my helper here with me. He's going to help. I have a few 25 pound bags, so. He's not happy to be here, but he needs to help me. <laughs> People are lining up. Here it comes. I wonder if it's which lane it's going to go down. Uh oh, it's coming down our lane. That means we're going to get stuck. <laughs> oh, good, it's going down that lane. But is it going to come back this way? We'll find out. It says 6:30, and it's 6:35, so he did good. Everyone's gonna start pouring in. There's always a coordinator, and she's gonna tarp it off, tarp it up, put the tarp on the ground, and then they have little uh, letters. that they will put on the ground to alphabetize all of the orders. It's actually kind of cool how it works. For tea. There they go. Okay, now we're all matted down and soaked and cold, but we're still kind of trapped in here. We have to wait for traffic to clear, but we got our stuff. <laughs> it is a whole day later. By the time I got back from my hall, uh, Azure Hall last night, we just got in. We had dinner. I think it was 8 o'clock by the time we were unwinding and I had to study. So I decided just to wait. Um... So I can show you what I got from my Azure haul. I decided to go with the 25 pound bag of the organic rolled oats. We do eat a lot of oatmeal and I use a lot of oats. I use them as binders, as you know, in my meatloaf and different things. So this will store really well. Um, just a quick tip. If you ever order large things like this from warehouses, throw it in your freezer for at least three days. It'll kill anything wanting to live in there. You don't want to get pantry bugs. Bread flour. Right now, it's so hard to get flour from Azure, and I did score this 25-pound bag. Uh, red wheat is considered the traditional wheat. A June sales fire. Yes, my herbs are finally here. I'm so happy I can make my ranch now. I got This is a one-pound bag of garlic. Look at it, it's sitting on the one pound bag of chives. These are so light. I'm gonna have to use my food saver for this. Minced onion, salon cinnamon, dill weed, all one pound. I have been experimenting with cassava flour. We use cassava flour with the turkey drippings at Thanksgiving and it made the best gravy. It was delicious. Nancy's. I wanted to try the sour cream. The sour cream was out, so I decided to go with the cottage cheese. I'm going to try it and see if I like it. We love the raw cheddar so much that we went with a sharp cheddar cheese. Word to the wise, um, if you want to ever shred cheese, make sure you shred it before you freeze it. Because I did go ahead and cut the cheddar into five pound or one pound um, blocks and I froze it and then I tried to shred it and it fell apart on me. So I'm going to shred half of this before I freeze it. That way I don't have to worry about it. Also, I chose the gamma seals. These are going to help when I want to store my flour and my oats. So since my last month haul, I wanted to touch on a little bit how I'm storing these things that I'm getting. Um, I get these 
large buckets for free from my local grocery store in the bakery. I'll have them sitting by the side and I'll ask for them and they, they'll usually just give them to me. Sometimes they are saving them for others. But then the gamma lids. So that's what this, these gamma lids are going to be for, for my um, oats and my flour. And they also have the smaller gamma lids. Uh, last month I ordered the buttermilk powder, the coconut sugar, and the cornmeal. These are awesome. They are freezer safe. I will put the link, I am not an affiliate, but I will put the link um, to where I got these. They're, they're, they lock great. And I like to put my, my um, seasons, herbs, everything in these jars and label them. I also bought a bunch of these jars off of Amazon. I can throw the link up there too. And I have these gallon jars and the quart size jars. So there's a lot of different options. Another good thing I have is my food saver. This thing has been a lifesaver. The food saver is a lifesaver. <laughs> hey, thanks so much for hanging out with me. We got a lot done. We got our three hauls, our Azure, Costco, Aldi. Aldi is not really a haul. I think I'll probably be hitting Aldi again this month, but we did get some um, pantry staples you know, in the midst of all this too, learning how to um, bulk shop. I've also been learning how to organize. So that's a bonus. So what about you? Do you buy anything in bulk? Are there, there staples that you like to have on hand? Do you buy a lot of flour? Do you buy a lot of sugar? Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and like and uh, well, that's to like and subscribe.